Um, I feel like it allowed me to stay hungry and also like mature and definitely just really make me, I feel like it really just made me stay hungry and keep working, keep working. Cause I know being out there, not able to, not knowing you're not gonna play on Saturdays, it's kind of hard, but then to think of going against Roby and Duran every practice, you could develop your, develop your game and just didn't want to miss out on an opportunity. He said your dad helped you kind of get through that whole trial. Just uh, what uh, what were some of the advice family members had for you to stay with the program and, and stay with what Ohio State had in mind for you? Um, my dad and my family, they just basically told me just, you know, they always motivated me and they just wanted me to keep going, keep working hard, and don't just really not waste a year. Like really, pot, like really use this year to gain any way I could. So if it was more lifting, more studying film, more like coming out to practice, just doing everything, making plays, just don't waste a year was the main thing they was telling me. What do you see from the Cincinnati defense in your film study thus far? I mean, do you, do you see an opportunity for you to have another big game? Um, yeah, it's a lot of opportunity out there. I feel I trust in the coaches and the game plan they're going to have for us for Saturday. And whatever they call, I just execute. You know they got a guy named Silverberry, right? Defensive lineman? No, sir. Silverberry Muhan is his name. You I'm, don't want to get to know that I'm name gonna look very out well, for him. So. <laughs> when you guys go 11-on-11 uh, 11 11 in practice last yes, week, uh, ones and ones, how did, how did uh, the receivers fare against the defensive backs? Um, everyone was out there competing. It was a real fun practice last week. You know, everyone going out there, even though it's a bye week and no, we're not going to be able to play Saturday. It was real, like, up-tempo and competitive. And I feel like we fared well. It was going back and forth. Everyone was doing the job. Did you guys get the better of them or did they get the better of you guys? Um, I feel like we got the better of them, but we also developed them and they also got us sometimes too. Like, would they say the same thing? If I ask a DB if they got the better of the receivers, would they say receivers got the better or the DBs did? I feel like they'll probably say we were just out there competing, getting better, both of us. Michael, can you ever imagine what it would be like if Ohio State were to not beat a team from Ohio? Um, no, I couldn't. I feel like it would be a bad day. You've won the last 39 meetings, by the way. Nobody's beaten you since 1921. No yeah. Pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just gotta keep it going. Mike, did you understand the, the reasoning the coaches gave you for that decision last year to, to redshirt? Um, yeah, it actually, I feel like it was beneficial. It allowed me to gain weight, allowed me to get stronger, play faster, and save a year. They had talked about, or Urban did it about an hour ago, that it was every third play he felt like there was something that you were not doing right in practice. Is that, is that the way you remember it? I mean, yeah. I mean, it was like coming out, like coming from high school, it was like the playbook, it was kind of like a lot they were throwing at you, up-tempo, no, no huddle. And then like, you know, you know you can catch, you know you can run routes, but it's all about being in the right place and like, like so that you won't mess up like the reads for the quarterback or anything or getting one injured. So I feel like I had to learn the, all the X's and O's instead of just getting open, catching the ball. How much maturing and growing up did you have to do, though, to, to be to be counted on as a guy who could be out there? Um, every day I just had to prove to myself to make a play. Like Coach Meyer is all about when we're in practice, he calls these plays, he has to see them in order to call them in the game. Who was the one person that you would credit most with helping you mature and grow up, Michael? Uh, guys like Philly Brown, Braxton Miller, Ryan Shazier, they always have my back. But overall, a lot of dudes on the team always kept telling me, just keep going, keep going. Kenny G was another guy that kept motivating me because he would usually go with the twos, too. And we would always just, just try to dominate every day. How's this, how's this changed? How's this changed from what you thought it would be? I mean, you're four games in. You guys go into the season thinking Braxton's going to be back there. JT started the, you know, the first three games. How has the offense been different than what you thought it might be you know, prior to Braxton you know, going down? Um, you know, with Braxton going down, it was a tough blow, but I mean, it's like football, anything could happen, you know, anyone could go down, it's like next man up. And I mean, it's Ohio State, I mean, they recruit top recruiting class every year. Right, so but I is feel there like anything different that the offense that you guys are doing now that maybe you wouldn't have done? No.
Mike, what tells you? Yeah. A couple more guys. What tells you guys may be yeah. ready for a shootout if it comes to that on on Saturday and stuff? Do you, is there a confidence about this offense now that maybe wasn't there at the beginning of the year? Just what, what's your what's your sense on that? Yeah, I feel like we just that first loss we it was like a lesson that we took and we learned <laughs> learned from, and now I feel like we every game we have something to prove just because of that that loss. When you look around the room, do you see what, do you see a lot of playmakers, uh, potential playmakers, et cetera? What, what do you see when you look around the room, uh, the offensive room? I see a lot of playmakers, a lot of depth. That's why I try to take advantage of when I get the ball, I try to make the play, because I know the next guy is fully capable of making the play, too. He just has to touch the ball. I know that they, you didn't do what you wanted to do against Virginia Tech, and you spent even part of the next week trying to correct that when you were getting ready for Kent State. You still took time to prepare for that bear defense. Did you do it again during the bye week? Yeah, we just came out and we competed. And we also did a lot of passing during the bye week due to the fact we know Cincinnati's a big throwing team. And I know we know they're going to come out and throw the ball. So we were doing a lot of stuff against man 